step five, implement the transfer function, the process model, into the PLC controller. In my system, my controller, that is a Siemens i7-1200 controller, and this controller support ICL programming language. Another important thing that is uh, from the website showing the screen, we can download the sample program. Those sample program allows us or help us to implement the transfer function into our PLC. So from this application example, that ID that is a uh, 79047707. So from this case, we can download this library, that is TI Portal version 14 LCM block library. After you download this document, uh, we can check the content. In this library, it provides different function block to implement some typical transfer function in S domain. For example, the typical function block, especially for the process object we will use, that is a first order system, that is uh, this, the LCM PT1, as well as the second order system. One is a second order under damping oxidating system. One is a second order over damping aperiodic system. Here, you can check out the different transfer functions. If your system is a big, or complex system, uh, you could use the different function block, connect them together, make the, all the transfer function as a cascade system, and connect one by one to combine one complex process model system. After we download the library file, we can use the TI portal to implement this library and copy this library function block to your project. And you can rename this function block and one fantastic thing that is uh, all those function blocks, they are not locked or sealed. You can look at the details inside this uh, function block. For example, that is a first order transfer function. You can see all the code here. The basic idea of those code, that is an uh, implementer from the Z transfer. So all those code are programmed by SEL language. Uh, actually, if you understand this uh, logic, you can program by your own language, uh, for example, the C or even letter logic, you can implement them. So this transfer function that is the S domain, uh, to implement this S domain transfer function into PLC or digital computer system, we need to transfer this uh, S domain transfer function into Z domain. So all those uh, algorithms here or equation here, that is a Z domain equation. Uh, Siemens do a good job. So they already implement those uh, examples. So they are all opened. You can use this uh, function block to implement the different transfer functions. Those transfer functions come from the MATLAB identification toolbox. To learn the detail of those uh, function block, so you could read the detail on these uh, documents. Also, you better have a basic knowledge on the control system first order and second order transfer function knowledge. So in my case, uh, if you recall the transfer function we got from the MATLAB identification toolbox, that is the second order and periodic transfer function. So that's why in the TIA portal, I will use this, the LB53 function block to implement this uh, transfer function. In the TI portal, I will use cyclic organization block OB to call this uh, function block. And that TM like one, TM like two, and uh, the gain come from the MATLAB. That is uh, these three parameters. Other than the parameters from the transfer function, we also need to set the operating point value to run this uh, whole program. Uh, in my case, the control operating point that is uh, 25 and the process value operating point that is a 42.5 centigrade temperature. Another important parameter in this uh, function block, that is uh, this, this uh, cycle time. In my project, uh, this cycle time, that is uh, two seconds. So if you recall, uh, when I record the data, I used uh, two seconds as a record sample time to record the data. And then I use those uh, record data to identify the process model. That's why when I implement this uh, function block, uh, because this uh, transfer function come from the MATLAB system identification. So 
uh, when I implement this uh, function block, I must use the same sample time, that is uh, 2 seconds. Also, to call this function block, I must use a uh, cyclic OB, that is a 2 second period time to call this function block. So that uh, cyclic time and this uh, cycle time setting, they must match. Keep in mind this when you use in your case. Alright, till here, if I run this function block in my controller, so if I give the same input signal to this uh, function block, the output of this uh, function block, it should give me the similar value as my actual process. So this kind of like uh, I'm created one digital twins of my process object. So the next question is uh, how perfect of my function block, how perfect of our transfer function. So that turned to the verification step. In next video, we will talk about step six, how to verify the output of the model. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up. If you like to watch more videos in my channel, please subscribe. See you in next video.